Here today I am going to explain on S3 select. To before working on S3 select, I am going to use this tool. We call it mock row. I am going to generate a data out of it. 1000 rows of data I want to create for the JSON format. And without array, let's just download this data. And the same data I would be uploaded in my S3 bucket. Let me create a bucket, call it all cloud S3 select bucket. Same region. I'm not going to change any default setting. Let's create a bucket. Add mock data file in this bucket, all cloud S3 select bucket. Click on upload, add files. This is my mock data and upload. Click on the destination. Now click on this file, mockdata.json file. And now go to object actions. When I say object actions, you need to click on query with S3 select. And let me describe you what is S3 select is a SQL like query you can write on your data sets like JSON, CSVs. So I'm going to query data with the help of S3 select. Format, I'm going to work with JSON, but in case you have CSV format, you can use CSV format here. But I'm going to work with JSON. JSON content type would be line in my case, because each line in the input data contains a single JSON object for me. If I open my data, you can see that data. Let me open in the notepad. This is my data. ID one. This tool helps to generate data basically. So that's a random data. Let me work on it now. JSON content type lines, compression. I don't want to use any kind of compression here. The output setting should be in JSON format. Let's run a sample query which says select star from S3 object as limit five. That means I'm going to ask only five records. Run SQL query. It will return you five records, right? In the similar way, if you want to change the query, like want to add S dot gender is equal to male, just run this query. It is giving exception. The reason is you have to use single quotes, not double quote. Run SQL query. It is giving you 473 records in 530 milliseconds. Byte return is 62,821 bytes. In the same way, if I want to fetch gender records as female, run records. 443 records. I think it is clear to you. But one thing I want to share with everyone that there is a separate tool to run, separate course to run on the S3 select that you can see in the AWS calculator. Thanks for watching this video.